Good afternoon, I'm Pete Travis and I play bass guitar. I'm Mike Portnoy, drummer. Roy Nassault, guitar, vocal. Neil Morse, uh, keyboards and vocals. A little, little bit of guitar now and, then, now and again. And we're transatlantic. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. Thank um, you. You're playing high voltage this summer. You're headlining the prog stage. Uh, you looking forward to it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah no, it's going to be great. It's the grand finale of our world tour. Uh, you know, we, we've we've been out through America and Europe and the UK, and it's all going to culminate with the High Voltage Festival bef before we all go our separate ways for the rest of the year or for however long that may end up being. We don't know. So right. it's going to be a very special uh, final performance of Transatlantic on these, at least on this chapter of the band. It's been just amazing. We've had an amazing tour, uh, one of the best tours of my life. I can safely say. On all kinds of levels, just it's been phenomenal. So I would imagine the high voltage will be no less phenomenal. What other bands are you hoping to see on the field? I want to see um, ELP. Yeah, because totally. I never ever got to see them when I was younger. So I saw them at the Long Beach Arena in oh, like you? 1974 or something like that. But yeah, long time ago. So yeah, I'd like to see. Sap up, please. Sap up, of course. Focus. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I've forgotten about focus. I heard Wishbone Ash was doing something. Yes. I don't know, I wouldn't want to divulge anything, but uh, it's, uh, that's, that sounded pretty interesting to me. It's billed, billed as Martin Turner's Wishbone Ash uh, performing Argus. Is that right? It is billed that way, yeah. Well, that was, that was a fa favorite album of mine when I was a young man. So yeah, that was a huge album. I might well like to try to catch that one too. Um, high Voltage obviously has a dedicated prog stage. Um, does a healthy state of progressive music surprise you, considering this was music um, punk rock was meant to kill off? I mean, I've said it and so many times already now, you know, with Prague Magazine and things like that and Classic Rock Magazine, but it's very apparent that Prague is bigger and better than ever. I mean, because now it's coming in so many forms. And if you look at this lineup, you know, you have a band like Opeth on there and, uh, you know, and you have a band like ELP there. and, and they both have prog elements, but they're very different worlds. But right now, progressive music is coming together in so many different worlds. And the fact that, you know, I think Transatlantic is kind of a perfect um, example of that within one band. Yeah. You know, you have four, four of us that all play various forms of prog in our own bands. And we come together in Transatlantic and create something that's more of a tribute to classic prog. But really, you're getting four completely different elements of progressive music coming together. Um, what does what the bill at High Voltage uh, across three very different stages um, say about the state of rock music in 2010? Um, I think it says that live music is, is, is the, you know, the way people want to uh, go out and enjoy themselves. You know? it's, it's, it's a very strong thing these days. I think it's much more important than record sales actually uh, in, in this day's climate. It's nice too to see progressive music um, kind of uh, represented at a big high profile festival as well because if I, you know something like Download which is amazing and, and I've played Download and it's one of the highlights of my life but there's very rarely progressive music represented you know maybe they'll have a Dream Theater or a Porcupine Tree but you're not going to get you know a Marillion and a Transatlantic and Focus and Zappa and you know, the, the range of progressive music that's going to be at this festival really is, is kind of unheard of at a high profile festival, especially in the UK. So I think, I think this particular festival is, is really a great, great thing to have finally been, uh, you know, established. Is Transatlantic the ultimate dream band for musician, allowing you the freedom to do what you Pretty awesome. <laughs> I guess well, it I, is. I mean, I, we all get to show off at, all at the same time. It doesn't get any better than that, really. <laughs> well, we get to take the music wherever we, will, wherever we want to take it. And to have, you know, some of the best musicians in the world, you know, to play with is just, I don't know what you, how much more you could ask for musically, but seriously. It's incredible. And I, I just want to say, I want to go see Marillion. Oh, thank you. I, 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 oh, I forgot. I'll pay you later. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
leads us on to the, the final question, which is for you, Pete. Mm. Um, as you're play, playing in um, both headliners of the yeah. stage, are there any challenges in playing in two different bands every weekend? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> you don't get to play with a band like Transatlantic without putting a lot of hard work in. You know, I mean, it might it might look great and it might it might seem effortless when we're on stage, but believe me. It really is not. <laughs> yeah, no. Mike, tell them about your schedule, man. No. Nah. Yeah. For you, I've been saying. Your schedule is. Well, I think there's. Carl Palmer would be doing two. He's Pete and Carl Palmer would be the two double duties, right? I guess Carl Palmer's playing with Asia and ELP as well. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to brag about mine. Do you like to brag? Just tell them. Well, I'm playing Saturday. Is it Saturday? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Saturday, we're transatlantic in London and then flying the next morning to play with Event Sevenfold in Montreal on Sunday. So I'm doing double duty but on different continents. <laughs> well and on Tuesday you're playing what with, Washington DC with Dream Theater and Iron Dream Theater Iron Maiden and then you're flying to California yeah, to three band three bands in six days yeah. in three countries. He's the hardest working man in show business. The Phil Collins Sammy Davis of Jr. No, no, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.